here we go. Of course, I was going to not talk, but I do have some things to say. I can't remember what I was planning on it, but here we go. My plan is to bring the grey down the sides here and then just to alternate some of the colours in the middle and then bring the white across. It's a variation on the magical uh, moss video I did a little while ago with one swiping movement and again I'll be using a projector sheet and just pulling that down here very nicely controlled and smooth in one swiping movement and seeing how we go. All of my colours have got silicon in them except for the swiping colour which is the global diamond here can't see it very well but it's very shimmery and gorgeous and that'll be my swiping color that I pull over everything and I'm doing this nice little paw um, testing the palette colors just to see how I like them for a a three canvas thingy that I'm planning for the future finally my partner has worked out that he'd like these colors in our our lounge room and I think I might give it a whirl and see how I go I haven't poured anything for home for quite a while. Listen to the vacuum cleaner. It's not a vacuum cleaner. It's a, a lawnmower. All right, let's um, get on with this. And I hope your pouring's going great. Oh, I might just show you this funny little one that was my last pour. Gee, it's so gorgeous up close. I really, really do like it. Can you see that gold, the way it's coming through? What I have decided to do is um, probably paint all the way around where the white is and just see how I go there and um, see how it looks because I do really like some of the patterns in there. Anyhow, that's not what we're here for. Let's get on with our swipe.
looking really, 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 really gorgeous. The white, which is this cup here, is much more translucent than what I gave it credit for. So you can see even up here where it's solid, you can see the little bits of gold wanting to pop through even where there are no cells. So it's quite a sort of translucent clear paint which is going to give it a lot of difference. Can you see how it's sparkling? See that shimmer? It's going to look fabulous when it's dried. I'm really enjoying doing this one swipe movement in the center of a canvas. Um, I didn't, oh did you see the sides there? Looks nice. Still quite a bit of drippage though, but I'll tidy that up when we're off film. Um, see here where the paint's kind of pulling a little bit it's an indication that my canvas is not quite level so that's probably going to slide to that side a little bit I actually um, like my paintings to not have that per perfect line in it um, you know it's just a, a preference a personal preference I'm enjoying how these sides are coming up here now where you can see the two different golds highlighted with just that little bit of black and I did add a little bit of grey in there and I'm glad I did because the um, diamond colour as I've mentioned before is quite translucent so the grey will help give that a bit more solidness. Um, I was hoping for a bit larger cells. Let me chuck my thumb down so you can see the size. They're, they're pretty nice size, but I don't know, not what I expected. I um, have done this method before and got larger cells, and that's what I was hoping for. Nonetheless, it's going to be a gorgeous creation. I'm um, tempted to do some pulling up here to create the illusion of tree branches and whatnot, but I'm going to try and resist doing any kind of touching on this anymore now until it's dry and I'm really looking forward to showing you the outcome especially using the two different golds hear the cockatoos in the background it's coming onto dusk here it'd make a really um, if you did a full canvas using this kind of palette it would look uh, fantastic for the background for a cheetah or a leopard or something like that the colors are really really glorious so I'm not exactly able to verbalize why I'm enjoying doing this method, so, pardon me, so much at the moment where it's just simply one swiping movement with a natural frame. Um, but hopefully over the next week or two as I keep doing it and get whatever's in my system expressed, I'll be able to talk to you a little bit about the story that's going on within me that's uh, guiding me to do this style over and over again I imagine over the coming weeks I'll probably be repeating this quite a bit with uh, different color palettes just because I'm enjoying it and I know you know what I, I mean when you get on a roll with something that you like enjoying in what you like doing you just keep doing it over and over so let's see what this brings meanwhile let me know how your pouring's going happy creating everyone Here's that nice leopard and the two golds. Oh, look at the shadow of my... Anyway, what do you reckon? How delicate is that lacing on the side there? Nice. Oh, sorry. 